Whatever y'all are. <laughs> here with Harding head coach Paul Simmons. The Bisons win 31 to three over Southern Nazarene. Coach, just your initial thoughts from tonight's game. Yeah, I was pleased. I was pleased with the way the guys played. We we, we really had a good week. I told the guys early in the week. I said, you know, there's, you know, to me, two two markers of character. One of them is, you know, how you how you practice. Um, when it's really hot outside and you just got beat, that's you know that says a lot about you. Another one is is how do you practice when it's really hot outside and you're playing a team that, that hasn't been very good? You know, are you going to match their intensity level? Are you going to play that level? Or are you going to be who you are and get better? And we really had a good week, and I was really pleased, to, especially today with the way the offense executed. They were they were cleaner than they've been all season. Uh, took a step and and uh, finished drives off three three in the red zone. So. Um, excited about that. Really excited when we had a chance to to get some guys in the ball game that that, that we haven't seen. I mean, obviously when when um, we got a bunch of guys that, that work really hard, that care a great deal, that uh, that don't play enough. And tonight we got a chance to see some really talented guys kind of getting their shot and making some plays. So uh, it was a good night for the Bisons. Coach, one of those guys we'll talk to in a minute is Shagu Alubi, new to your defense, new to the team this year. Uh, just give uh, give us. A look at what we might see from him coming up. Well, I'll tell you what, it's you know it's difficult when when uh, when you transfer in um, and you don't get here in January. When you come in August, and so you basically have two and a half, three weeks to to get in and fit in. And, and what we what we always see when when young men uh, transfer here is that um, you know it, it takes a while for them to get going, but you know. Shagu is a really talented young man, and and you know he's been playing strong safety, and he still is. But Coach Bigelow came to me on Sunday and said, "Hey, you know we need to get we need to get this guy coming off the edge, rushing the quarterback." And and uh, so we you know got out there on Tuesday and, and turned him loose a little bit. He's he's a very natural pass rusher, and and uh, you know his his burst uh, tonight was really exciting. You know we you know ha having that kind of speed on third and long is a big deal, and so. Uh, I think that we're all pretty excited about that. Your first trip into Oklahoma of the season coming up this week. What do you do to get ready for that one? Well, you know, it's 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 our first overnight trip, okay? Which is which is you know, and you gotta you gotta you know get ready to do that. And also, it's a one o'clock ball game. Some things that are different. Um, I tell you what, though, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love to get on that bus with the guys. The guys love it. You know, that's that's one of the, our favorite things is just being together, being on the road together. Um, you know, we, we always seem to play well in Oklahoma, and I, you know, I think the part of it is just is the, the, having so much time without distractions. Uh, but Oklahoma Baptist is really talented. You know, they, you know, they probably have the most talented offense in the league. They're 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 putting up points big time. Um, so we we have got a heavy chore, um, but we're looking forward to it. We're excited about it. You know, there's no school on Friday, so we can roll out early and just you know make it a good trip. Hopefully. Here with Shegu Alubi, a new bison, a new name for people to learn, and a great game tonight from you, Shegu. Um, just tell us a little bit about what it's been like coming to, the, to a new school, learning the defense, fitting in on a defense that's been nationally ranked, and, and just kind of how uh, you felt about that throughout this early part of the season. Uh, yeah, they definitely made it really easy on me. I mean. They simplified it down as much as possible. One thing that they definitely did is they made sure that I was going to fit in this culture. They made sure that I worked hard, worked as I was expected to work, and did things the way that I'm supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing that I definitely feel like helped me because it made me learn quicker. It made me learn fast, and um, we just turned it off from there. So, I mean, tonight you had a great game. I mean, you were in on a lot of plays. Tell us how you feel inside tonight. Did you know coming in that – you know, that you had this kind of game in you and that you're this kind of player. And then to have success tonight, how does that feel? Yeah, I've definitely had uh, supreme confidence in my abilities for the past couple of years now. I, I definitely feel like this is a game that I'm used to having and I want to have more of, you know what I'm saying, that's inside of me. So I'm just ready to turn it loose whenever they let me go. And uh, when, when Coach um, Bigelow came to you earlier this week and said, hey, we're going to throw you in with a new kind of wrinkle, uh, what, how did you take that as a challenge? Uh, I knew that they were going to get me ready. That's yeah. the main thing. I had faith in the coaches that they were going to get me ready. Yeah. They, were gonna, they weren't going to put me out there if they didn't feel like I could do it. So yeah. 
but they, they put me out there. I knew that they had faith in me, and so I had faith in myself. Awesome. Here with Mills Bryant. Mills, the starting center for the Bisons, and, and we don't we don't bring a whole lot of O line men in here. But on a night like tonight, 300 and something yards, it kind of felt like the the offense was in control most of the game. Um, kind of take us through a week of preparation for a game like this as an offensive lineman starting with the beginning of the week. Yes, sir. Uh, especially this week. This week was a great week of preparation for the O-line and, and for the entire offense. Um, we start off um, on Tuesday with our game plan, how we think they're going to fit the front, and uh, then we scheme that up, and uh, Tuesday is our heavy work day. So we hit the heavy bags, and all five of us can continue to work to move as a unit. And that's what it's all about, all five of us moving at once. There's six at some time if we run tight end. But we have to move all together as one. And that's what we work on every single day of the week. We're hitting the heavy bags as one. We're hitting the low sled as one. And we're moving as one on the offensive side of the ball. And that's how our preparation has really been. And this week uh, was no exception. It was a great week of practice. So uh, I'm proud of all five of the guys that, uh, that I suit up with. Cole Chancey runs to your right and your left a lot of times during a night. Does it ever surprise you like how quickly he gets there and um, what what kind of challenges does do you have to try to make sure those holes are open for him? Um, Cole is really good at finding a hole so it doesn't matter if it's this big or this big Cole's gonna find it and so he makes it really easy on us guys to uh, make our holes work you know they if we can go get this much push, then, then he can make it work. So we're really blessed to have Cole, uh, and I like to tell him he's really blessed to have us too. So, uh, so we, <laughs> he says that as well. Well, so. we appreciate him. Yeah, 31-3 victory tonight. Congratulations. 